Uh, we faced your fears at uh, Fort Tabor, and, and Stephanie, you were there. I was. You uh, you are part of this um, this crew that you you go along, around looking for trouble, Stephanie Burke. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So, like you're you're calling on ghosts. Why? I do. I love it. Um, anything to do with the paranormal or unexplained, I absolutely love it. So this happened at Fort Tabor this past uh, Saturday night. You're going back to Fort Tabor this coming Saturday night. So is this something you do do all year round, or just in October around ha- Halloween? We do it all year round um, with Spooky South Coast and Legend Trips. But this time it was a Fun 107 sponsored event, and right. we were lucky to have that unique opportunity to team up and work together. For- so because we were talking about this the other day, Lauren and I, it's funny because this thing sold out. This this thing you just did this past weekend yeah, sold so out fast. in like 15 minutes. Yeah. In people, people are like falling all over themselves to try to get scared by ghosts. <laughs> Can are. you explain that? <laughs> no, I can't. I don't know why they want to be scared by them. I love to just, you know, explore and, and research them, but I won't go into a regular haunted house where people are jumping out at me. That scares me. Oh, like, like <laughs> okay, so like something <laughs> organized with like regular people, right. alive people. That scares me. That's too much for you. But That's too much. That, that is so funny. <laughs> But to have someone from oh, beyond wow. come and, and, like, have a real ghost, quote-unquote, scare you, that's fine. You're all about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Wow. That is very bizarre. Right. Do you realize that's a little strange? It is a little strange. I tell people all the time I'm more afraid of the living than the dead. <laughs> well, now that makes sense. It's kind of like Lauren. She's, uh, you know, more afraid of people than animals. What, did you find anything on Saturday night? We did. We had a group of 100 people, and it's broken oh, wow. up into groups of 25, and we had different stations that everybody was at. So we rotated people all night, and we had a few things happen. Um, I know Kristen from Fun 107 actually witnessed metal chairs moving on their own right behind her, and she jumped. Really? Oh, my yep. goodness. Now, I work with, I've been working for, with Kristen for years. Mm-hmm. Seems like a pretty stable girl, yeah, right? Yeah, right. she does. And I can't imagine her making something like that up. So she she saw she, metal chairs. She just... heard them move behind her, and nobody else was in the room with her. And she came running to tell us what happened. And she tried to reenact it. She tried everything to make <laughs> it happen again, and it wouldn't. It wouldn't happen. Wow. No. Why do you think this stuff happens when you go on these ghost tours? Are you, like, inviting the ghosts to interact with you? Like, why... Why isn't there a ghost here now? There's ghosts everywhere. It's just a matter of being open to it and being aware of it. Like right now in this room? <laughs> of course. I like that. This That's creepy. I don't like that. I don't I like not, that either. Just, I want to let any ghosts know who are listening Not down here, for it. Get out. Please do not. <laughs> Come over here. I'm here on Saturday nights for Spooky South Coast, and that starts at 10 and it ends at midnight. So we're here when it's all dark and plenty of things happen. What? Oh, no. Yes. Don't tell me. I just don't want to know. <laughs> listen I'm to too this. afraid. Wait, listen to this piece of audio we have. This is from Fort Tabor, and I want to apologize up front. There, there, it's just this is raw audio, so yes. there is some stronger language. Of course, we beep it out, but, I mean, this is just your raw reaction. It's a really scary moment. So this was a very scary moment. This actually happened to you guys right. at Fort Tabor. Let's listen to this. I don't know if you're touching my hand or if that's just because I feel cold over here all of a sudden. All right. Can you kind of right in front right here. Is that you? That wasn't me. That broke, I think. Why? Oh my god, it smells so bad right here, guys. (laughs) Oh no. So what was going on there? What Why did it smell bad? I have no idea why it smelled bad, but the best guess that we have is we were walking through one of the, um, the batteries, and they were doing a quiet EVP session. You can hear Tim say... You know, is there anybody here? And are you touching my hand? This is at Fort Tabor. This is at Fort Tabor. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you heard this gigantic crash. Yeah. And those batteries are very small, and they're made of concrete. So everything, re- you know, it echoes, and it's louder. And everybody ducked down. They covered their heads. They were afraid that it was collapsing. That's how loud it was. Wow. And there's no explanation. Nothing fell. Everything was perfect. So and you guys have flashlights and all this we stuff? We have everything. We have, you know, very bright lights just in case something were to happen. And you, because you watch these shows, and you have that... Do you have, like, the, the equipment? Yes, things. We have recorders. We have K2 meters. We have Mel meters. Um, we have all different. Some people actually brought their own stuff this past Saturday. So they had REM pods and everything else to <laughs> help communicate, you, and it's amazing. Are there any spots left for this coming Saturday? Absolutely. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. Now, so- I have a question. What happens if you go on your ghost tour, and then all of a sudden you just, like, tap out? I can't do this. i got to get out of here. I'm too afraid. Can you leave? We actually 
had two girls leave, and we think it was because they were afraid. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. they didn't say it was because they were afraid? No, nope, they didn't say it was because they were afraid. But we I'm leaving. It's afraid. not because I'm afraid. So wait, I'm just what did leaving. they say it was for? They said it was an emergency, but they were very calm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, if you want to get <laughs> some of those tickets, they, they, I guess there are some available they still. They definitely are. Go to fun107.com, click on events, and then click on face your fear night. It's happening again on Saturday night. Stephanie Burke, thank you so much thank for coming. Thank you so much.